If you're fishing for stock trout, then this fly is for you. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread and grab some mule deer body hair. Here I'm using natural. Snip free a small clump about the size of a pencil and use a dubbing brush to pull free some of the insulating along with the excess fibers. Trim off the ends and secure it to your hook shank. Doing so by taking a loose wrap around it followed by a second before pulling your thread tight to help the hairs spin around the hook. Securing them tightly in place by taking some additional thread wraps. At which point we'll grab something hollow. Here I'm using a pen to help push our fibers backwards and bring our thread to the front. Wrap back on the fibers slightly before grabbing another clump, once again brushing out the excess fibers and trimming the tips to length. We'll repeat this same step we did previously, taking some loose thread wraps around it before tightening it down and spinning it around the hook. Secure with some extra wraps and using your pen to push back the fibers. Wrap back on them slightly. Grab some more deer hair, repeating the steps just as before. And if you want to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Push it back with a pen. Bring your thread forward and wrap back on the fiber slightly. If you have some excess room at the head of your fly, you can repeat this step once more. Here I'm using slightly less as I'm starting to run out of room. Secure it in place, push it backwards, and bring your thread to the front. At which point we can put in a couple whip finishes, seat our knot, and snip your excess free. Next, we'll grab a razor blade and use it to help trim down some of the fibers. You can trim this into any shape you like, but here, I'm going for a rounded shape to mimic dog food. Trim up the excess fibers and create a flat bottom. If you don't have a razor blade, you can also accomplish this step using scissors or trim up some of the excess if your razor is not so sharp. And it's particularly useful for cleaning up those excess fibers around the head. Once we're generally happy with our shape, we'll grab a lighter and carefully use it to burn off some of the tips, giving it a more seamless, rounded shape. With this step complete, if you don't want the singed deer hair on there, you can simply use a razor blade to scrape it clean. And this is an incredibly simple fly pattern that are made to mimic the pellets that the stock fish are used to feeding on. So next time, when that stocking truck shows up and those fish have no idea what to feed on, you can present them with their natural feed. And it's certainly gonna catch you some fish. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.